What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And I did some things again off camera, yeah. Uh, with everything that I made of it there, I kind of needed a better way of getting, uh, like, blood. Which, I made the runes because our system actually works now that I've modified some things. Over here, by the way, uh, down there, I placed a spawner. It's a witch spawner. So they just disappear after a certain time. There's not going to be a lot of them there. But check this out. It's been about a day. Wow. Oh. And my game crashed. What? Oh, okay. Let's see, can we get back in? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I don't know why I crashed here, but I crashed here. I've been having really problems with the servers, uh, like in the past two days. Uh, so I don't really know what it is. Uh, but alright, so check this out. 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000. This is what I'm talking about because these are going to be useful to do everything. Everything needs them. Like, and then you can do this, but we're going to need to go into bees, but that's going to be another talk. Uh, today is something else. Today we go in environmental tech. Environmental tech. Yeah, environment. Oh yeah, I should probably show you... Uh, what happened over there? Ohm will. So, there you go. You can see. Uh, in there, there's a spawner for skeletons. And it's a tier 5, you know, the soul soul spawner thingy? Well, that's what I'm using. Simply because they won't spawn too many of them. If there's too many around them, they're just going to stop spawning. But they spawn around 15 to 20 before stopping spawning, so it's perfect for this thing, because every time something dies, it creates a crystal. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's pretty efficient. Like, there's crystals flying every time. So, yeah, pretty much I just did a little design on the sides, and that's about it that I changed here. So, pretty much there's just a, a spawner in there, that's about it. It's just the other one wasn't fast enough, so... Yeah, I, I changed it to this. Uh, lagging. Okay, we're back. Well, we're not back yet because this one didn't start turning. Oh, there we go. We're back. <laughs> That's how I can know if I'm lagging or not. If one of them is not turning, it, I'm not actually here. <laughs> Alright, so... So, how am I getting this? Oh, it's true. I got one of those. <laughs> I got one of those, so uh, yeah, now I can make anything. I forgot, I think, to tell you about this. I actually captured one and I made like a redstone normal spawner. Uh, just to get a little bit of those because we need them for building. Okay, so what do we do today? Well, of course we need to go for what we've been talking about. The void ore miner. Like it's something we needed to do and as you can see, I pretty much got everything. I got the iron in here, but like so, and we needed to make this thing here. Uh, I prepared everything, these are all pretty much made, except this one, this one is calculator, but these are in the ATM rock hounding mod. Uh, the gold, what I did is I did this thing here, and I smelted it, and it gives rich, so quite easy to do. Uh, but let's do that. Bam. Alright. Uh, we need to make this, which I've already prepared the thing in the middle. So, perfect. Uh, this thing is just an ender pearl in the middle. Uh, okay, so then we need gold, redstone, and not a stick. Gold, redstone, and I completely forgot. Wait. Oh, it's glowstone block. And one piece. Okay. I've also upgraded our Tartaric gem because it was needed. Uh, just because, you know, 16,000 is way better than 4,000. Okay, so bam, 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 bam. Should give us what we need. And bam. It recharges everything. Perfect. 
So we're going to be able to do the tier 1, but if you know anything about this, is that it takes a lot of power. Boom. Laser core. Oh yeah. First things done. Let's do this. I've prepared the glass already. The glass is made with enriched sand quartz. So, what? what is this? Why would you do this? I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, why would you do this? This would give three meh, okay. Uh, so, alright, so this thing now can be done with this, and what I need to do is make this green. The reason we're making this green is the reason we want this is you, we want to get yellow, right? That's the main thing we want from this. So, with this... Oh, but wait, I, I kind of need one. Oh yeah, I made this, uh, which is what you need to do to uh, to know what to do, pretty much. Void or Miner. So if we look, we need two laser core and one clear lens. Oh wait, we need two laser core. Two more laser core. Oh, I did not think of this. Okay, I hope I've got the material. I think I did. I, I made like a, a full... A full stack of each, so I should have the material. There we go. Oh, I did not think about the fact that I might need more. I don't know what the touch of midas do. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, and I'll need to make two more of these. All right, and now we need to make this one again. So I'll need. Two Ender Pearls. Because we need to go make our Teleposer. Uh, let's turn this one off. Let's put that in there. Should be quite quick. There we go. So I'm going to show you while we're here uh, what I've done at the bottom. So all of these have been turned into into this. There's two speed here and uh, like some speed at the top. So pretty much just to make this thing go faster and not need that much blood uh, from me. That's how I did this. Oh no! It turned into this. I can't have this. I, I need the normal one. I needed to remove it faster. Uh, this is the problem with the blood magic. You need to put filters to remove them automatically or else things like that happen. Okay. Or you need to stay next to it and wait until it actually pops out. Okay. Bam. Oh. Okay, so let's make two of these. We'll need... Two of these, two of these, and of course two of these. Let's go outside. Mm. You know one thing that is funny is I can see the thing over there, but it's it's too far. It's, I'm not supposed to be able to see it. Alright, make two more. One. I don't know if they can stack. I don't think they stack. Oh, they do stack. Huh. I'm surprised. So, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the next episode. Next episode... <laughs> I know, I know, we haven't finished this one yet. But uh, next episode, I need to start doing some automation in the base. Like, also bringing all the machines and stuff. I think it's going to be a good thing to do. Because, well, we kind of need it. All right. Uh, now we just need to actually remake one of these. Okay. So we should be able to make uh, the machine itself. There we go, Void or Miner. We've got the two laser core. What else do we need? Uh, 20 machine base and 24 structural block. I did not check the machine base. I'm pretty sure it's going to need mecha. Uh, wait, machine base, basalt machine base. Oh, no, that's actually easy. Uh, except that I did not make this. 
four. Go back in there. And let's do this. Perfect. Okay. So void or magnet 24. Okay, tier one or above. I'm pretty sure I've got above. Uh, a basalt tier. I've got 320 tier. Yeah, I may have crafted some of it. Okay, so let's do this somewhere. Wait, did I? Okay, yes, I have everything. Uh, somewhere where I won't need to make some more chunk loading. Uh, like here would be the best place, but I, I don't like the place. Um, we're chunk loading here for this. So I think I'm going to do it here. I don't have anything to put things up, so <laughs> we're going to do this. All right, so we're going to place that here. And after that, we, we need to actually to go back to... Okay. Uh, okay, we need to go home. S sometimes I hate it. My keyboard does two slash. Uh, and that's both of them. There's two places where I can do slashes. And they both do this. Uh, we need something like this. Luckily for me... Uh, I did it already yesterday without wanting to. I was just in making the other ones and boom, instantly I did it. Uh, so when you have everything in your inventory, you can just come here, stand on top of it, and then you just hold right click. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it here first. Uh, the only thing you need to do now is take a couple of uh, your trusted sand, do this, then uh, if you if you don't want to die, I would say uh, place a block here and maybe do this because you need to go all the way down to bedrock. I hope there's no, like, uh, nothing dangerous. Okay, I, I guess we're just gonna go down anyway, so... I, I don't like the dark, though. The fact that we can't see anything. We need to reach bedrock. How do you know if you're at bedrock if you can't see? There we go, we should see bedrock right now. There we go. Oh, I removed the engine. Uh, we're gonna remove the light. Just because they're not needed. And BAM! This thing is now looking good. Uh, of course it needs power. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through a 640 RF a tick pipe. Simply because this thing uses a lot of power. Tier 1 is like astronomic... Like big. It's, it's just too big. I do have chests. Uh, I don't have a chest, but I do have uh, conduits, like this, and I can do home quarry, and steal these things here. Okay, I also have these <laughs> that uh, need to be taken care of. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to do the... the Treating of everything now. Oh, I forgot that I have those that I need to put in my system. Okay, let's go back. Uh, oh, I need to grab power cell. Wait, I'm supposed to have one. There we go. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place these here. Um, yeah, we kind of need a chest also. <laughs> oh, wait, why am I going around? I can just do this. 
and there's a chest right here that I have not been using. So at the moment we're going to place them in the crate, but I do want to set up something to treat everything that comes out of this thing. Uh, at the moment I'm going to leave it like this. Alright, so let's put that here. No, that here. Put this uh, right here on out and this. Okay, it's getting power. And we're getting ores. Oh yeah! So, it, it, it won't be that quick. As you can see, it's using more power than i actually giving it. So, if we look in here, it uses a lot of power. I could actually make the second one. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna see if I, if I can. Because this one uses 320,000 RF per block, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, 320 RF per tick. Well, per, uh, per 400 ticks. The second one uses 160 RF. The 60,000 RF. The third one, 80. The fourth one, 40. So, the higher you go, the better it is. But there it is, guys. We're getting stuff. So my plan was to do a place where we just like take care of all the ores that are going to come from here. Coal, to be honest, it can go to garbage. Uh, but uh, even if we're going to get that one, most of it. The one we really want is yellow, right? Uh, yellow, right? Like this. And I saw that there's like 5.37% chance of having it when you put a green lens. Uh, I don't know if we look green lens, peridot, yellow right, and uranium. It's good because I suppose... Oh, and we get draconium too. Nice. So let me think of what we could do to treat all these beautiful ores. Uh, I know that this one the only way is doing this, because that's how I did it. Uh, because, well, you can crush it, but you can't turn it unless you do this. So, yeah, let me think a little bit, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, I think I figured out pretty much everything uh, on how we are going to do this. Uh, so, by the way, I know that I could pass the cable just here on top, but I didn't want... I want to have, like, one cable visible only. So, that's why I was... I did this like that, and I passed the cable behind. I know they go together, like you've seen me do it on other places. So, thanks for commenting on uh, telling me that there's tutorial on how to place cables together. That's the kind of comments we need. Uh, okay, so let's continue now that I've rented a little bit on comments. <laughs> so, in my inventory... Oh, by the way, yes, I need to show you. I actually upgraded the, the thing to level 2. It, it keeps up with 600 RF tick. It keeps up. And check this out. We've got stuff. We even got Firestone? What is Firestone? I've got no idea what a Firestone is, but it's cool. It's Firestone. Um, I got like three of these. By the way, I'm out of diamonds. Like I've got five left. So yeah, can't wait for this to work. <laughs> but uh, all right. So let's go down here. I've got an idea. I'm not 100% certain it's going to work. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to give like one space here. Okay, we're going to use this chest as our input, because, well, it was the input of my quarry. So, we're going to have a crafter right here. We're going to have a crusher right here. We're going to have an alloy smelter right here. Uh, this thing can come here. And the chest here. Okay. Oh, yes. And also... Uh, Mm, where do I want to put this? These things are so hard to break, it's ridiculous. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, of course there's going to be like the cables going in like this, which we could put in the back, to be honest. 
I think we're gonna do this. Here I just want nothing to be visible, you know? Okay, so let's make a hole in the back. Alright, so we're gonna place cables all the way behind. And we're going to be able to place like the the power source under or something like that. Alright, uh, I've got like some prepared also. So what I think about doing, I'm gonna need one more in height just to be able to stand on top. There we go. Okay, so this thing is going to be output, but it's going to output into different sections. So here we're going to have filters in all of them, uh, mainly on these ones. <clears throat> and this one, well, it's just going to be a little bit weird on this part. Because I need to have multiple entries and multiple output. Or I could output directly there, but this one can't output directly in here, which kind of breaks everything. The reason I've got a crafter here is because these need to be done in the arc furnace. Or in there. So we're going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to continue like I've got a line going here. Well, I'm going to continue making it go here instead. Well, not instead, at the same time. And it's gonna output uh, what we need to craft over here. So, alright. Uh, let's go look at the ores that we're getting and what we're gonna treat. And I forgot to place one machine because I replaced it here. It's the en enrichment chamber. Yeah, this one's going to be placed, let's say... Here, and we're gonna place the trash here. <clears throat> the trash is actually really important. <laughs> it's actually not really. <clears throat> okay, let's go grab all of these. We might do advanced filters simply because they can hold more items. Uh, so we're gonna have to use their Z logic processors and things. Oh, nice, we get all these. So, no, oh, Iridium? Directly Iridium? I didn't know it was actually a thing. I thought we needed to process it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Alright, so the things we, we don't want to process is redstone, coal, gold. Uh, what else? Things that we pretty much get. Already just from farms. Uh, sulfur we don't need also. Peridots. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care. I don't really care about this one. <laughs> just to, to be honest. Uh, so this thing will go directly into, into the system because I need to break it myself. It's something that is affected by... Uh, by you breaking it. Like this, and it gives 12. Which, uh, remember, we needed to do this? Well, we might do it uh, Silk Touch style. Okay, so Emerald needs to go into the Enrichment. Diamond needs to go in the Enrichment. Uh, what else needs to go in the Enrichment? Nether Quartz needs to go in the Enrichment. Cobalt needs to go into the Crusher. Ardite in the Crusher. Yellow right in the crusher and then in the other one. A lapis uh, is going to go in the enrichment. Silver is going to go crusher, nickel crusher, bauxite crusher, lead crusher, iron crusher, copper crusher, <laughs> tin crusher. Uh, even, uh, no, this I need to keep, where did I say I wanted to keep straight away? Uh, this thing, I think it should need to go in a sag mill, which, okay, we're going to add a sag mill. Sag mill will be here then. Uh, no, we'll put sag mill here. Appetite, um, I don't really care. 
<laughs> don't really care. It's going to stay here for the moment. Iridium, we're going to send that into the Crusher. Most most of them go Crusher and then go into... Uh, yeah, we're going to do this like that. Uh, this is straight in the system. Black Ore can go in Crusher and then Alloy Smelter. Topaz could go in the sag mill yeah let's go put that in the sag mill pair that in the sag mill malachite in the sag mill tanzanite in the sag mill draconium ore will go uh in the crusher and then in the crafter sapphire can go there neither ore will go in the sag mill uh sag mill is here Fire whore or only macerator and well I these are gonna go in the garbage. <laughs> no, they're not gonna go in the garbage. I'm not sure if I want them in the garbage or not. Okay, no, we're not gonna send them in the garbage. We're gonna keep them straight in the system. Okay, so this is what I gotta work with. So let me figure out how to connect everything. I'll bring you guys back after. All right, guys, it's not done, but I thought I'd show you how you make a Z-Logic processor, a controller, like this. You just place these things in there, and it's going to make one. Uh, you need these to make uh, a couple of machines, like Farming Station and Advanced Item Filter, which is what we need at the moment. Uh, I don't think I've got paper. This is one thing I need to farm, and it's paper. This is my paper farm. This is a little bit of a disgrace. <laughs> but, alright, I'm gonna get back to trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this hell. Alright, guys, I clicked F9. That makes <laughs> my mistake. Uh, so, these are all the drops that this thing can get. I looked into uh, the ore miner. You can click U and you can have like the whole shebang. And uh, this thing, I think I set everything correctly. So it was a little bit uh, complicated to set because first of all, well, I set things up and then I forgot the sack mill. Over here, uh, what I had to do is I have a crusher. I, I could have used a crusher like this, but I didn't need it. Uh, except that this thing, I think, uses less power, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, maybe this thing... Eh, it uses 20 RF a tick, it's not really important. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna fill up because I need dust to make the pyrodium dust. So, and here I place stone. Uh, these are interior, these are interior, these are exterior, exterior. So, over here what I have is I have a blacklist of yellowium and draconium to go into the sag mill, which I need to set for furnace only, so that it doesn't create alloy, uh, just just like this. Uh, this thing is pull, push-pull, and this thing just... don't put anything there. Alright, so this thing, the way I did it is a little bit complicated. Uh, it's a blacklist with meta that I ignore, just for this one, because they are all in the same. So it's all of the ores from uh, Biome of Plenty will go into here with the same thing here. It's not going to see uh, the that over there. Uh, all of them are set to 5, except this one is set to minus 5. Simply because I want to hit to check the other ones first, but it shouldn't even go in there if it's in another one. Over here I've got a minus 5 on red, just because I've got red here. Uh, but like, again, it shouldn't because there's the this, but I just decided to go. This one is on 15, it's just things that go in the garbage. Uh, on the here, there's only resonating ores. So then it's gonna come out. Uh, that's the thing I needed to do. This one is set. This one is set. This one is set. Uh, over here, uh, I needed a way to send the items directly to this. Which this one was already on green, so I couldn't put it on red. So I did a chest that pretty much just grabs the things that go straight into the system. 
and then pu push them out just after. So you see the Firestone? Oh, by the way, the Firestone? Uh, just be careful when you pick it up. It puts everything on fire. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is going to work. The only thing I'm going to do is place a power here because this one was not powered. And I think I need to put something to upgrade this. Uh, one of those. I think those are the ones that are not bad. I think. Yeah, okay. So if everything is okay, I think we can start pushing items into here. Oh, this thing's backed up. Nice. Uh, so I'd say what I'm going to do just to make a test is I'm going to grab a couple of... Uh, a stack of items like uh, let's see what can I fit uh, let's put this in there this in there this let's move that over there this can also go there this 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 as well this as well okay so now I've got a little bit more space so let's grab like all this and let's just put this. This should all go in the crusher. All of it. So pretty much just all of it would get stuck in here until it gets uh, crushed. So nothing will move until it finishes. So then it's going to grab the next one. The knitter. Oh. I did not think of this. Um... Nither needs to go in the back here because it can't go in this machine. Uh, so I'm gonna put that here, even if it. Whoops! I don't have any draconic. Oh, it's bad. Uh, draconic. I need one of those. Alright, let's go at the bottom. Because if this, there's one thing I don't want it to do is try to smelt the draconic ore, even if it can't. Alright, so bauxite, this will work. It will go in the alloy smelter, then be smelted, then sent it to the system. Okay, so like I said, these should be pretty straightforward. You can't put anything in this chest, it's gonna go in the system. So let's try to put this. Should go in here. Did the ingot went there? Perfect. So then here it's still doing it. Uh, the reason I'm using this crusher is if we let's say we take a look at this one, okay? Because chance it get gold. So a couple of them has have a chance to give other things. Uh, I don't know exactly which one. Platinum. Wait, does it not go? No, it goes in there. Okay. Whew. I thought it didn't go in there. So, yeah, this thing seems to work. Okay, so let's grab other things. It's probably going to refill over there with uh, the new ores, but it's okay. We're testing this. Like I said, it's there. Okay, so these should not be going in the crusher. At all. They need to go into the sag mill. So let's see. We're going to go place those over there. Sag mill. Right. Why is the sag mill not doing anything? Oh, it's because I turned it off. Oops. <laughs> all right. Output. Should come out. Go into the systems. I'm not really seeing anything because it's too quick, but... So. Okay, I was like, why is there Tanzanite? Sort of Quartz, perfect. Now we're getting paired it. Am I gonna be... There we go, we saw the paired it coming in. Nice. This thing's still working, perfect. Let's go grab something that goes in another machine. Uh, let's grab like the diamonds and stuff like that that go into the enrichment chamber. All these here. Uh, and grab those two. 
They go in the crusher and then into the crafter. Uh, one thing I wanted to do was to do a yellow, grab those, put them into the storage system, like here. Perfect. Nice. Uh, some of the items I don't have a storage. I think I'm going to have to do another row. I did make another row on the other side for these. So I might have to make another row like for Tanzanite and these kind of things. Uh, currently, I'm not going to connect uh, this, like the system directly to it. Uh, like I'm not going to connect the ender chest directly, but it will be done. Okay, so there we go. Uh, enrichment chamber going quartz. The problem with the mechanism I had to put a cable under because you can't like input and output to the same place. So there we go. We got quartz going in. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. But yeah, it's going down so that means it's working. Perfect. Uh, what is it doing now? Wait, copper can't go in the alloy smelter. What? What the heck are you talking about? Oh. Oh. I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, how are we going to do copper? <laughs> can I do the same thing? Uh, yeah, I can burn it again. So I think I'm just gonna add something here. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn it off like this. Because I need to forget everything. So I will need to crush this. So I just don't want it to output. But give me two more. There we go. So, no, 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 no. Uh, uh. Okay, there we go. That should solve the issue. <laughs> okay, this thing here. Alright. Uh, we need draconium. In here. And we're going to place like this in here. And this thing is going to go bam. Bam. And apply. Right, and then we're gonna put back the stone. Remember, put these things in there. Uh, Alright, and then we're gonna turn it back on. Alright, perfect. Uh, okay, so let's put back the cable so that it has inputs and outputs things. Okay, so over here. We're gonna whitelist it in the back. And it should start working. There we go. Nice. Cool. Alright. So this is why you, you test a little by little because or else you're gonna have too many things going on. Huh. I'm pretty happy with this. So yeah, pretty much guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see ya next time. Bye-bye.